There are six types of simple machines and I use some of these in the production of my mousetrap car. A lever is a stiff bar that rests on a fulcrum and is commonly used to lift and move loads. A pulley is a simple machine that uses grooved wheels and a rope to raise, lower, or move a load. Several pulleys can work together at once to move the same load and this would be known as a pulley system. A wedge is an object with at least one slanting side ending in a sharp edge which cuts materials apart. One common use of a wedge is an axe to cut wood. A wheel and axle is used to move loads. This is the most common simple machine used in everyday life. They are used in cars, bicycles, and even airplanes. An inclined plane is a slanting surface connecting to a lower level to a higher level. One common use of inclined planes are ramps and even ladders. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a pole which holds things together or lifts materials. The first step in making my mousetrap car was designing it and making a scale blueprint of my car. I used Vectorworks to design a blueprint and it took me three tries before I made my blueprint perfect. I had to dimension the blueprint so I would know how long certain pieces were and add appropriately sized wheels. After I had finished designing my car, I was ready to build it. The first step in building my mousetrap car was cutting the wood where the mousetrap would rest on as well as cut the pieces for the sides of the car. Then before I glued the pieces together, I drilled holes into the wood where the axles for the wheels would go. I used two different kinds of axles, wood and metal, both of which required different measurements. The wooden axle needed a quarter inch diameter hole and the metal axle needed an eighth inch diameter hole. After that, I glued all of these pieces together as my first step in the process. After inserting the axles into the holes of the car, I installed the wheels with the use of a hot glue gun. The last step in completing my car was installing the lever arm and the mousetrap and drilling a small hole in the wooden axle for the string, and then my car was completed. Before testing my car, I calculated the mechanical advantage. To find the total mechanical advantage, I had to find the mechanical advantage of the lever arm and then the driver wheel. The mechanical advantage of the driver wheel was 1 to 19, and the lever arm's mechanical advantage was 1 to 26. I multiplied these together, and the mechanical advantage of my car was 1 to 494. After doing this, I was ready to test. At first, I wasn't having much success with my car's distance, with it only going 12 feet. Then, I got it up to 39 feet, which was so close to 40, but it would never get past. I realized that I had to do something new, so I quickly disassembled my metal wheel and axle and drilled bigger holes into the sides of my car. Friction had been holding my car back and I fixed that problem at the last moment. However, in the process of doing this, I inadvertently burned my hand with hot glue. But after that, my car went 43 feet and burning my hand, in my opinion, was worth it to get past 40 feet. If I could tell one thing to future mousetrap car racers, I would tell them to drill large holes into their car no matter what axle they use, because that would reduce friction and allow the car to go further. This is where I would change my design because it held my car back from reaching 40 feet sooner. My last run was the most successful.